Hello, I'm Ines from ToolRateCinematics.com and in this tutorial I will be going the, over the effects controls in Premiere Pro. So in the previous tutorial we have created some keyframes to um, transition in and out or audio and uh, video. So if we drag over here you can see the tab uh, effects controls and you can drag this down as well. And you can see all the video effects and audio effects applied to our video. Uh, in the motion you can change the position for your video, but uh, in most cases you don't want to do that anyway. So you want to right click, I suppose right click and reset should work, no. Go over here and click reset. And that will reset the motion um, effects. Uh, you can scale your video if you want to zoom in or zoom out and then you can move around like this. Um, that's a way you could use it, but you will lose video quality. So um, I would recommend filming it the right way in the first place and reset it again. Uniform scaling if you want uh, to do it separately, scale height, scale width, uh, you can do that as well. And the rotation, okay, and you can also um, do the opacity in here. And as you can see we have created two keyframes in the previous tutorial and you can see those keyframes in this video. So this is a keyframe for the opacity of my audio and this is a keyframe under the audio effect. So this is the uh, keyframe that we use to, the, uh, to do the volume and to the uh, fade in from the audio. So if you click on the keyframe and you drag it over here, it will um, yeah, place it into the time and make it a little bit longer um, to do the transition, which is kind of obvious. You can uh, go over the uh, keyframe that you have done for the audio and then it will snap to the exact same time that we have faded in the audio. Uh, you can also create new keyframes and that's by clicking on the stopwatch for your rotation or the position or whatever you want to animate. So if you see a stopwatch then it's um, editable and it's animatable. So for example let's say we are going to do something crazy and we are going to click on the stopwatch for your rotation, go forward in time and then rotate it like this. And I would recommend never do this. It's uh, really ugly, but I'm just explaining you on how to do the animation. So as you can see now, when we scrub through time, it's animating from zero to rotating. Okay, so um, that's on how to create new keyframes and how to edit them. So um, yeah, if you want to add effects to the effects control, click on the video you want to add an effect on, go to uh, effects, and I want to do video effects. Let's say we want to blur it a bit. Go to blur, fast blur, and drag and drop it on your video. Now you will get a new uh, effect applied to your video effects that you can see over here, fast blur. And next to that button you have a effects toggle on and off. If it's off, then the effect won't take place. If it's on, the effect will take place. And you can see if you can crazy blurriness. And there we go and you check off the uh, total effect on, then uh, the effect won't be taking place. So it's kind of easy to, uh, to see. Um, but now you can notice that on the edges, it's kind of black and it's blurring out uh, only the video. But let's say you, only want, you want the complete video to stay as it is and you want to see the green color and the edges as well, you can click on repeat edge pixels. Uh, so yeah, that's a blurriness effect. I won't be going over all the effects because that's something you have to take care of yourself and check out all the effects yourself and take some time and try drag and drop them on your video and check what it does. So thanks for watching. This was the effects control tutorial and yeah, goodbye.